and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a location icon. Our starting point is to simply create a circle, hold control when you drag that and go to a 45 degree angle with your cursor. I'll need to increase opacity here so let me go to object, fill and stroke. I've got a black color on the fill. But obviously you can choose any color that you want. And let me use this red. So now we need to turn this object into a path. So right now we only have these three nodes. Now we can use this button in the top menu when you've got the nodes to select it or just go to path and then object to path and now we've got four. We can click on the bottom one and then drag it downwards. You can drag it freely but when you hold control it snaps to the vertical line and that's what we want so that it's in the center. I think that's a good position. Now we want to have sharp edges so click on this icon two times first to turn it into a corner point and then to get rid of the curvature. You can still use the curler tool to adjust it, make it a little bit wider or thicker. Maybe you want to have it thinner, whatever. Let's create another circle. Once again, hold control, 45 degree angle. Let me make that black. I don't want to put it to the center of our location, so I shift click on it, both are selected, then object, align and distribute, last selected, which is the red one, is in the drop down selected, and now I'll align that, but only to the vertical line, horizontal, we don't need that. Instead, I'll drag it upwards, holding control, and if you want to resize that, always hold control and shift to keep it in the center with the same proportion. It's not a path yet, so select it, path, object to path. Then select both elements, path and difference. And now we've got this cutout here. You can see that if I create a background. So that's what we wanted. You can see these location icons sometimes with a drop shadow or a 3D effect. So let me right click on it and duplicate it. And I put that in the background. With the top menu. Then we make that black. You can see right now you can't position it that well because the snapping is enabled, so turn it off temporarily right here in the top right. And now you can do a better job at repositioning that. You can go to your fill and stroke menu under object and go down with the opacity. You can also give it the same color as the location icon in the forefront and then go down with the opacity only for the background. It looks interesting in many cases. And if you want to adjust the color, always make sure to select both and then click on the bottom menu to change the fill. And you've got the icon itself and the shadow element recolored at the same time. And this is how you can create such a location icon in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.